Hey guys, what's up? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Uh, hopefully doing good. I'm going to do a morning thoughts episode. I have reviewed a fragrance. I'm going to upload these side by side. Hopefully you will uh, watch them both. And if possible, I, I for, forget all the time. If possible, just give me a like if you like my uh, content and perhaps subscribe if possible. That will help me go further in the uh, journey, right? So I reviewed a fragrance. So I'm in a mood for talking about fragrance related content and sometimes human related two topics. So first topic I want to talk about is the fragrance related one. And it's like why fragrance are uh, more expensive today, like nowadays post COVID. And most of you know it, but I need to explain a little bit because there are a lot of newcomers. They don't understand how market works, how prices work, how the currency rate, you know, drops and a lot of factors are there, you know, like uh, I will try to discuss some of the points. I cannot cover everything, but fragrances are costing a lot more. Keep it simple whatever I could buy for $45, like in the market for 100 mil, it's not the same price anymore. Um, and the thing is, you know, even the newer fragrances are still expensive, like more expensive than ever. Many reasons. First of all, before COVID, where the world economy was more like a steady or stable uh, situ situation, right now it's not the case. After COVID, many people, they had to stay at home, businesses died, people lost jobs, pay cut, a lot of things. And now the fuel hike, what is happening in the world so a lot of factors why the currency sometimes drop your currency drops usd becomes steady so a lot of factors happen and now the flights you know most expensive thing is the flights right now one of them anyway like when people fly they have to pay so much more for the air ticket and then also if you want to do business let's say you have shipping charge like let's say your products flying from dubai or states or uk they cost a lot more sorry where are my manners uh, my scent of the late night is Sartorial by Ben Halligans. Love that fragrance. It's a beautiful, soothing, oh, love that absolute class Okay, of a fragrance. It's keeping me relaxed. So going back to the discussion, uh, fragrances cost more because the air fare have gone high. The, if you're in Dubai, I think the Dubai currency uh, is like also getting more expensive or hard to get or more expensive. Let's say the currency has become higher. So what happens in that way, when your currency drops, in your country especially, your fragrance is going to be more expensive. Anything that's imported is going to have higher import charge, taxes, VAT and all that. So it costs more. Same thing, you know, it can be the old batch of people before COVID. You can say, hey, COVID time, fragrance for only 35 bucks. Why is it now 55? It's because it has gone up for many reasons. So you have to deal with it. And I was having a discussion or rather a lot of people who are not understanding, you know, like there was a topic. I said, please, when people are trying to sell off fragrances, do not bargain, okay? Let people have the right price. Sometimes, yes, there's some things for debate, but in my group, I actually prefer people sell it for fixed price. People buy it for fixed price and there's no fight and, you know, no need to attack personally and become so desperate as well. Fragrances are not food. You don't need them for essential, uh, like, leaving. You can avoid them easily, but sometimes if you have the money, take it. This is what basically I'm trying to say and I try to keep it clean, you know, like, uh, the seller, you know, why would you give it for cheap? This is what I don't understand because when you're on both sides, buyer and seller, you understand fairness of both sides. So when I buy a fragrance, for example, nowadays, it's costing me more money. You know, whatever buy, fragrance I could buy before, Dior Sauvage could be very expensive, uh, but sometimes I could find it like a decent deal somewhere. Nowadays, no decent deal in any of the pages in Bangladesh. Whatever pages were selling before cheap, none of them are cheap anymore. Some of the houses, some of the pages, they are charging as much as a retail outlet so go figure you know everything has gone expensive petrol price food your living standard rental everything you know your internet everything costs more right so if you're doing a business you know it will be very difficult for you to keep the hold the same old prices and then you know survive in the market it's 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 just not happening right so everywhere people are increasing prices we're paying more for uber uh, transport transportation food everything has gone high so if Imagine a seller, let's talk about seller's perspective. If he is trying to sell a fragrance, different scenario. He's selling it for a good fair deal. Like let's say CD name, 3,200 taka. Fair price, at times people sell it for 60, 65 bucks in retail store. Some guy is selling for $32, okay? So that I think is a fair price. And then you have to pay for courier charges, right? So if someone, let's say, asks for, hey, I want to pay only 30 bucks arguments say is something wrong with it if you ask politely like can is it possible brother you can give me it's okay but if entitled people come and say hey 
I don't have enough cash with me. I don't, I don't want to pay re your courier charge. Is it fair for someone to ask, uh, I'm not going to pay courier, give it for free courier. So that I find kind of rude. These are simple things people don't understand about manners, about fragrance game, which I'm trying to like encourage, like, please do not do that. If I have to pay 10 bucks from my pocket, okay, for your courier charge, you know, or $1, whatever it is, you know, it's going from my pocket. So you are actually harming me, right? You are damaging me and because of you, I'm like incurring losses a little bit. So even if people, like sometimes people assume people are in need, who are trying to sell and they are in desperate situation, so I can do whatever I want. Please don't do that. Uh, I, I will tell you, wherever in the world, you may disagree with me, but don't do it because when you're going to sell, you're not going to do the same courtesy for most people. I know these kind of people, when they will ask for free delivery, if they're doing business, they're not going to do the same courtesy for others. They will charge the $10, whatever, $5 for the courier, they will take it. So it's not fair, okay, because why someone has to give you for free or cheap or big discount? Why? What do you do for them, right? That's my side of argument. But as a buyer, you have to be a smart buyer. Yes, of course, you have to see if you get a good price, take it before it gets sold out because a lot of people or uh, clients who will actually take the product when you are doing a lot of thoughts and research, it's already sold out. So you don't get your desired product. Okay. Then the other side is discontinued fragrances, uh, rare fragrances, uh, limited time release. Those are very rare to get and they have no fixed pricing. Pure malt used to be 65 bucks when it was in market, you know, regularly. Then it became 85. Now I saw people selling for $250. That's the price. What you're going to do? It is what it is. But uh, if you're expecting like, hey, I'm going to find, you know, if I just go in 10 different stores, if I'm lucky, I'll still get a $65 pure malt. Good luck to you. You may find it, but it's always about luck. Okay. So those people are doing some smart thinking or investment. Like I'm going to get 10 bottles of Midnight in Paris somewhere. I'll buy it. I'll try to sell it for the maximum price I can get. That's called business, right? Uh, sometimes, you know, it, to people, it may feel unethical. Why a 25 pounds perfume once is costing $250? It's because there's a demand of it in the market, right? So these are a lot of interesting things it's like investment in banking or share market. You have to be very smart. You have to know where to invest. Sometimes you make bad investment. Sometimes you overpay. You know, sometimes you get it for a very good deal, but it's a fake. You never know. So these are a lot of things, you know, uh, people don't understand. And we've been doing this like fragrance community for long. So we know uh, where sometimes I have a good feeling. Like I'm going to go to this place. I never been to, but I may find like a discontinued fragrance, let's say a fresh version of Kuros or old batch of Kuros. I may end up finding it, but there's no guarantee. I paid Uber, I paid transportation to go there and come back. But in the end of the day, if I find something I can sell it for a profit, it's a good trip all in all, right? So when it comes to uh, consumers, you know, I'm also a consumer. I buy my perfumes for my decan page, for my review, personal usage. So I see at times, you know, I'll tell you this point is very important. Please take note. When I actually, uh, I don't come from a very rich family. Okay. We are from middle class. You can say upper middle class, whatever, but we struggle for our living. And uh, when I go to a place, I know some places are MRPs, like retail stores. You go to Macy's or Sour, we have Perfume World, Sandara. There's a sticker, price tag, and we know how much exactly it is. If there's a seasonal discount, we know how much it is, 40, 30. If we have a card, 15, 20% off. If they have no offer, then you know exactly how much price and VAT and tax. So realistically, we don't go out there and then be silly. Hey, how much is it? 150, I'll pay only 100, give me. And they will not, they'll just laugh, right? Some shops you can do, in Bangladesh, there's a lot of shops, they can ask for crazy price. And then if you actually do bargaining, they'll come down a little bit. But in general, fragrance stores nowadays, they are putting price tags and they're trying to practice that fixed price. So people actually have an idea. So uh, how much you have to be prepared with to buy that desired product. So if I go to a shop, if I say even a person is selling it, I ask them humbly, brother, is this the last price? And if he says, yes, uh, this is a fixed price, I said, okay, if I can take it, I'll take it. If I don't, I will just leave it for someone else. This is what I do. This is my practice. But when you don't have enough cash and you just tell people, hey, I'm poor, you know, just it's a rude thing to say, but this is how it is. When you say I'm in need, I don't have enough cash, so I'm saving up, I'm struggling really. Please don't buy perfumes. Don't buy any luxury goods. Do not buy a car if you don't have money to eat. You know, if you don't have petrol prices, 
uh, in your pocket. You don't have the money to buy petrol. Uh, and it's going to create like absolutely like extra pressure on you and your family and your lifestyle. Okay. Uh, but if you can afford it, take it before someone else takes it. This is what I'm going to say. It's as simple as that. Right. So the last point I want to add, some people are saying in different groups, I notice that, hey, this guy bought this particular perfume for $85. It's a vintage batch, silver stem, Diorum. I saw it in a few days back in a group. And this guy's trying to sell it for $150. This is so unethical. Guys, don't buy it. And I did not like the idea. I don't like that post. It's just my personal opinion once again. If I buy for $85, bucks, it's nowhere written I have to sell it for $85, okay, or less. I have to sell it whatever price suits me, depending on the availability or how much I can get. If I have a potential buyer, if someone's trying to block that buyer by putting such post, you know, just trying to aware the community. And these people are never usually uh, doing any community work apart from trying to take someone else's uh, possibility of uh, sales. Okay. And in this way, yes, there can be a hero in someone's eye, but uh, they do have uh, damage, you know, people who constantly like to argue, never buy anything or never actually are doing anything positive apart from these, you know, they have a ne negative impact like people in Fragrantica. Never tried the fragrance, it's not been released, it's a horrible most fragrance, synthetic, and then 10 other buyers, potential buyers will not even try it. You know, this is a, uh, like a connection between those. So there's nothing wrong with a person asking for, let's say, Invictus, okay, old batch. Uh, old batches used to be very, very beast mode. Current batches are okay, but not as beast mode. So someone asking for fragrance used to cost 45 bucks. Now they're asking for 80. And it first time you look at it like vintage Invictus $80, that's just too much. So what you do, just avoid. Or you can say like brother, is there any chance for any deduction? That's his sales post. He can do whatever he wants, man. And the best response is if it's not supposed to sell, if it's unfair pricing, no one will buy it, right? Uh, but if let's say current batch is asking the same product in the market, 45 bucks, is asking for 80, then yes, people will not buy it, right? So there are conditions. So please do read or see uh, what the post is all about. Vintage batches, you know, there's just no price tag on it, you know, like fixed price tag, let's say a midnight in Paris, Van Cleef and Arpels, 26 pounds once, no longer 26 pounds. Why is it? Because it's gone from the market, you know, demand and supply, less demand, less price more demand higher the price uh, less availability higher price tag uh, pure heaven pure malt being sold for a kidney price if they come back if they make it again then it will be again back to 65 dollars price range so what i'm trying to make a point fragrances are expensive sometimes they should sometimes they should hold the value it's going to be good for the economy everything is connected to each other some people yes make may make more profit but it'll be good many other people will hold something that they will feel Hey, I'm actually holding a fragrance here. It's worth this much. Let's say Aventus. If Aventus costs $20 today, trust me, no one's going to uh, hype about it. Oh, everybody's going to have it. I'm not going to have it. It's not the same fragrance. I want to have something more exclusive, like Afternoon Swim. And <laughs> that's going to be more expensive. So there's a psychology of people. There's another factor that makes things expensive. Why a BMW or a Jaguar or Bentley cost more than a Toyota? Uh, of course, build quality, but at the same time, the price difference, is it all because of the quality or the brand image? Sometimes it's brand image, sometimes it's uh, people's uh, perception. I want to be exclusive in community, okay? If a fish costs like uh, $1,000, not everyone can buy it, but I can. So I can brag about it, I can afford a $1,000 fish. So this is how the community or the industry works. Sometimes sadly, sometimes it is what it is, but uh, nowadays, I notice nothing is getting cheaper. So be prepared for these kind of changes and uh, forget about the prices, old prices. Uh, some countries where, yes, there's no corruption. Last point is when there's no corruption, country is clean. The government hold the prices of every single commodity to a very fair level. So there's no chance of inflation or something. There you can expect fragrances like, I saw my friend, you know, he's from Greece, okay? So Thomas, him, Mikhail is one of my, our admins. He's from, uh, I think, uh, he's living in Greece as well right now. So he's from Czech Republic. So they're getting fragrance prices so cheap, 25 pounds uh, or 25 euros, whereas we are paying 75 euros, same fragrance. They're like, why is it so expensive to your country? It's because our currency is weak. And then our system, it's in a, such a way, we cannot control any of it. So a lot of reasons, right? 
So it's up to you if you're going to be adapting to the system or you're going to be just giving up, change the game or give up like this is not my forte anymore. I'm just going to enjoy whatever I have and I'll buy whatever I feel still reasonable. Okay. So please don't get mad, you know, like when you see some sellers trying to sell something or some buyers are buying something and uh, you are just being there. You're thinking you're helping them, but actually you are destroying the market. But people, when they're in need of urgent money, they cannot sell it. Uh, I just don't think it's a very appropriate thing. Yes, it's a good thing to raise awareness about fakes and stuff, stop people from being scammed. But these small, small things, you know, manners, you know, or uh, I'm not going to pay for courier. I'm not going to pay for whatever price you're asking. You know, it's not up to you. It's up to the seller what they do. Don't tell them what prices they should charge, right? Uh, I just am talking a little bit in favor of sellers and buyers. Always, yes, they hold the more power. They just don't realize it. You have the money. It's up to you if you're going to buy it or not. You know, if you're going to go watch a game, paying for the ticket or not. If you stop cheering for a team, they cannot become like as famous or as rich anymore. Like some of the stars that you think they're big stars, you want to take a selfie. You cannot even go near them. But if you stop watching their films, what's going to happen? They're going to fall. So it's always both sides. Do think about it. Fragrance game. I'm trying to put some uh, reality check in this video. And if you find anything that I said is rude, I do apologize. But in general, uh, I think fragrance prices should hold this value. And if uh, not super expensive, they should keep like a steady pricing. So in future, fragrances still will have an appeal to people. When something you pay for, something is expensive that you actually bought with a lot of money, it will hold some value to you. You will care for it. If everything is cheap, you'll be like, ah, no, Aventus, one bottle, you just shower with it and throw it. You see, that's not going to be nice, right? <laughs> that's just my perception. Just uh, talking to you guys. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. Do let me know what you think about this. And do you think fragrances will ever be affordable again? And uh, how much uh, would you like to pay? Have you do, do you pay retail or do you like discounted prices? Obviously, discounted prices, but let's see your opinion. Have a nice day. See you soon. Take care.